are, are, are you and your folks um, confident that in these environments where all of us who get sick are going to rush, that there is adequate, uh, 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 whatever we call it, um, um, the materials, the, the masks, the protective equipment, the whatever, so that those we rely upon for our health care will in and of themselves be healthy in the process and not at an unnecessary risk? Congressman, that discussion is um, actively underway, and as I say, the guidance from the CDC is um, about to be issued. We, um, there, the scientists have not been in um, complete agreement about the right protocol, particularly with the use of respiratory. Right, I've read that. Yeah. Going forward, so the request went to the Institute of Medicine to do a sort of rapid response study. They came back with a protocol which I would suggest is, is the ideal case scenario, a respirator per provider for every patient seen. Um, wow. There are not adequate supplies to follow that protocol. So um, one new respirator for every patient. Every time you see a patient, the doctor or nurse would have to put on a new respirator? That's what wow. the IOM suggested. Yeah. And the stockpiles uh, in the country and the manufacturing capacity would not allow us to follow that protocol. So right now, um, we are working actively with OSHA and CDC and the health care providers to uh, develop uh, a protocol that actually um, is more in fitting with what the supply looks like because IOM was told not to take into account what's available or what could be available over the next six months. Unfortunately, the reality is we got to look at what's available. So that discussion is actively underway and, as we and, speak. And on that 